In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a label to a cylinder object. Um, I've seen a few tutorials of this where people get it really wrong. What? Uh, so I'm just going to paste a random label, and we're going to do a bit of a wrap around um, around the cylinder. Let me just make it a little bit smaller. About say we're going to get it around there, and we're just going to wrap it around the midsection of the of the can. Okay, so that's a cylinder, and we're going to just uh, wrap that around. Okay. What a lot of people do is they go straight to um, distort, and they go to curve bend, and they think that curving this is enough for that realism. But there's an extra step in there, and what needs to be done is under the distortion um, area, there's a, I believe it's the spherize. Okay, um, let me just confirm this. Yes. So the, the the name's a bit misleading, but spherize allows you to do cylinders as well. So you can do uh, vertical um, or even horizontal, right? So what we want is horizontal, That's that means stretching or skewing horizontally. What that does is, is this. Okay, so it stretches the middle part out. And that's, that's something we do want, that is, um, you know, um, stretch the middle part out a little bit, and then bring the, so you can see the middle characters are a little bit stretched there. Then you bring the two ends more like that. Okay, and suddenly they're not so stretched anymore. Um, they're normal. However, these on the extremities, you can see the text there, is quite compressed, as it would be on this angle. So that's the first step you do. Then you go to uh, distort and um, bend. So we want to bend at the same angle that the can is bent at. Let's have a look at that. Uh, preview. Now we want to, the lower, we want the upper to copy to the lower. Let's preview again. Now, for the purposes, I'm not going to spend too much time getting it perfectly right. For the purposes of this demo, to me, that's kind of sufficient. I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, so you can see that if I do this, do that. Okay, that has wrapped around. The text here is compressed on the, on the left hand side, the text is compressed here on both the left and the right hand side and it's quite normal in the middle. That's because we had that uh, sideways stretching um, through the spherize function under filters and distort. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now of course there's a few other lighting effects that you know you want to do, but that's in effect, that's what you got to do if you want to... Um, so if I, if I wanted to go the extra little distance and just say, all right, a brightness, let me just reduce the brightness a little bit so then I can grab the um, dodge tool and, you know, just add some shine there and there. So you see what I'm what I'm getting at here. So, some shine there. Where else have we got a little bit of shine? Um, let's say some shine here and here. One thing you can do also with straight lines, uh, if you click, hold shift down, click, it does a straight line super handy for doing this sort of stuff.
I like that. So, you know, that starts looking like a real can. Have a look at that. There you go. That wasn't too difficult. So, again, thanks for watching. Uh, any questions, please leave me a comment.